My boyfriend Josh is my audience member. Did you know that in Tokyo they have a real life Mario Kart? It's set in the streets of Tokyo where you get to rent out a go kart that is able to be used on the actual streets. And you, you wear this onesie costume and you get to see the sights of Tokyo. I decided to write about Japan, research about it because of its in interesting and incredible culture and, how, see, and because of how much it has influenced our hip hop culture today. I'm going to talk about Japan and the things that make it unique. First, I will tell you about some of Japan's cultural aspects. Secondly, I will tell you about some unique customs that they have. And lastly, I will tell you about some current events that are happening right now within Japan. Let me begin by saying that Japan has a fashion like no other. According to the Cultural Grams 2020 ProQuest edition, online edition, in the article entitled Japan, in the section, the people, traditional Japanese clothing for women are usually is, is considered a kimono. This is a long robe with long sleeves and it has an obi, which is a special sash around it. For celebrations, there's a thing where married women and unmarried women wear different things. For married women, they wear short sleeves and muted colors, while for unmarried women, they wear longer sleeves and brighter colors. Unlike the choices that women have for their colors and their different styles depending on the occasion, men usually strictly just stay with ties and suits for every occasion. The major religions in, to in Japan are Buddhism and Shinto. Shinto is <laughs> ancient mythology. It has had a huge effect on Shinto and it, stress it stresses a person's connection to nature with its many gods, unlike Buddhism where they have no gods. In Buddhism, they, they follow the teachings of the original Buddha and they also believe in Nirvana. Now that I told you about Japan's culture, I'm going to tell you about some of its unique customs. Japan has communication behaviors like no other. I'm following, I'm more interested in their gestures and their greetings. When, when Japanese people greet each other, they like to bow. They like having their feet together, their hands together, and they like bending at a 45 degree angle. And depending on the respect they have for the other person, you tend to bend, you tend to bow lower. As for their gestures, instead of pointing one finger out, Japanese people like to hand out the whole, like they have, they like to have all of their fingers out when, when trying to signalize another person. Japan tends to live within an individualistic society. According to the Greek Thoth Theros and, the and Michael Nichols' research on the page of What About Japan, last updated in 2010, Japan has a 46% point on the individualistic point system. When talking about individualistic society, this tends to mean that they care more about themselves and their family rather than groups of people than and trying to gain loyalty from them. Japan also has a masculine society. When talking about masculinity, masculinity, this means competition, achievement, and success. They this is what their society is built off of. Unlike a more feminine society, which would mean caring for others and quality of life. When talking about Japan's masculinity, their score is very high. They have a score, they have a point of 95 for 95 on the point system for masculinity, unlike the United States, which only has a 62 point. Now that I talked to you about the, the culture and then the customs, now I'm going to lastly talk to you about things that are currently happening in Japan today. The political life in the Japanese culture right now is very focused on the Fukushima accident from 2011. According to the article, Japanese government is ordered to pay damages over Fukushima disaster by Mukibio Inoue and Michael Ives. 
in the sex in the September 30th, 2017 edition in the in New York Times, the Fukushima plant has to pay 9.5 million dollars to the survivors of the nuclear accident. Let me remind you that the Fukushima accident happened in 2012 due to an earthquake and a tsunami that hit the power plant and caused the worst nuclear spill since the Chernobyl. <laughs> the program, the, after the accident, the program was set into place where the Fukushima power plant had to pay an additional fee of $475 for each of the survival, for each for the survivors until they were able to have pre-crisis house payments. After paying those fees, now the government wants them to pay the $9.5 million to the survivals. And if the, if the case gets appealed, it can go all the way to the country's Supreme Court. With that being said, first I told you about the culture. Then last, secondly, I told you about their unique customs. And lastly, I told you about the political life. I would like to end this by closing off and saying that they have an incredible style and incredible culture and I would be I would love to one day go to travel and see all of this for myself instead of just seeing it on a recent trip.